welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF Friday. Let's make it a great one. Be impeccable with your word. Express your love. This is a cool card, folks. Impeccability of the word can be measured by a level of self-love. If you love yourself, you'll express that love in your interactions with others, and that action will produce a like reaction. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 154, NASDAQ down 13, S&P's up 11. Gold, gold contract down $12.20, trading at 1765 an ounce. We have silver down four cents, twenty-one dollars twelve cents an ounce. Light three crude down a buck eighty, seventy-nine dollars eighty-four cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a ten-year note down ten ticks, trading one twelve ten. Thirty-year down twelve ticks at one twenty-five fifteen. And king dollar, king dollar is up two hundred five ticks, trading one oh six eight ninety-seven. The euro is at one oh three. The yen is trading at one forty point three one. The British pound is at one eighteen to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S and P's, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You get a sideways market. You're going to have light volume. That's what building calls is all about, folks. It's going to get. This is going to get interesting here because we have the ABC structure up. Confirmed ABC up to four eleven, oh three. You know we hit four oh two on Monday, Tuesday rather. And you can see you're messing around here with light volume. So this is telling me that next week we're still going to consolidate. And, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday will be full days. People will be splitting on Wednesday big time. Markets close Thursday. You get a half a day on Friday. So you can push this market anywhere they want to push it. That's the real bottom line. When all said and done, you know, my take is that this ABC structure is going to finish on the way up. Somehow, some way, man. That's the bottom line. That's my bottom line. <laughs> And if we take a look at the Qs, what you have with the Qs out here, what the Qs are doing, also light volume. And you can see, it, it, this is, the, the, the Qs are actually saying that you're going to pull back a little because what you have here, this is what you actually didn't want. Yesterday, you know, we came down with, you had an expansion of volume, but it was still light volume because it was 55 million going against 66 million going into 90. Now you try to go higher into 39. That doesn't fly. Now what will happen is this is option expiration, so we'll get volume in at the close. So that might just that might change that. It very well could change. We'll see how that shakes out um, because that can put 20 million in pretty easy, and then it'd be in good shape. Because if you if we're in there with 59 million, that'd be in good shape. Notes and bonds. Let's go take a look at the note and bond market because what you have with the note and bond market, the note and bond market also look to me. Like, and there's some divergences, because that looks to me like it wants to do a counter trend bounce also, meaning it wants to go to higher price, lower yield. So what we have out here today, you're pulling back. Yeah, look at this, man. See, you're pulling back with 970,000 contracts. This is setting up a small ABC up. That's what it's doing. Yeah, and you're going into 2.5 million contracts and 1.4 million contracts. There's no sellers, man. So that's telling me we're setting a small ABC structure up. And then if we do go over to the currency market, what we have out here in the currency market is the dollar, okay, bottom line, the way this is set up right now um, is that this dollar, you know, wants higher price. You know, so if the dollar wants higher price, this is where you can get the pullback. The pullbacks with unlighter volume, it's fine, you know. And right now, the benchmark, so the benchmark, is this 106.281, and it's over. It's the second day it's over. it. So that's saying that the dollar more than likely wants to run to this 108.672 mark. If we go to the gold contract, let's go to the silver contract. Right? So we take a look at silver. Silver right now is trading down four cents. You get 43,000 contracts. That's light contract volume. And... Yeah, that's coming into big volume. So what we have is silver. You know, you, you're coming into 112,000 contracts, 95,000 contracts, and you only have 43,000 contracts. So, you know, we're at a consolidation, and we'll see where this baby goes. Let's go to Dan in Los Angeles. Hey, Dan, what's going on? 
Hey, Hello. Tom. How you doing? Nice to talk to you again after long, two months maybe. Cool. What do you, what yeah, do you, what so do you want to look at? Why? Spiders, I bought, uh, like you said, like um, buy some at 365, something like that, in my IRA account. So now everybody's talking about uh, bullish or 4100 or 40, yeah, 400, 411. I heard you were mentioning. So, so you, I okay, have like so 50% left uh, buy uh, position from 365 to now 400. I sold 50%. Should I hold rest of them for 410 like that? As okay, you so, were referring. Uh, can you just, wh what did you buy? What? Oh, are we talking to spy? Uh, yeah. The spy. I, okay. I am an uh, investor uh, in IRA. Uh, usually, okay. Roth IRA. I, I buy and hold it. Stay right there, man. Stay right there. This, I, I would hold it. I mean, I think this 411 is game. You know, you're pulling back with light volume. This is a good setup. So don't sell it right now. What did you buy it at? How, what price did you buy it at? 365. Good. Okay. Uh, back in September. Okay. Good. Yeah. So I just hold on. Okay. Is that what your so question is? Okay. I will. I will hold on. I sold like uh, at 400 on Monday. Uh, 50 okay. 50 percent, but 50 percent left. That's all right. Uh, That's so there. Second, you get a good profit. That's good, man. That's what you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. So second question is. Apple and Tesla. So Apple also I bought like 150 for now. It's not doing great. It's like just a one dollar. Uh, but uh, Tesla is underwater. I bought it at 200, uh, two something like that. So what should I do with Tesla? Tesla. Let's look at this. So we're at. Don't let this get under this. See, see, are you watching Tiger TV right now? Yeah. Okay, cool. Don't let this get under this 177, man. Yeah, this is dangerous. Tesla's dangerous. Maybe you just want to move it out, man. Take the take the beat because I don't like what Tesla okay. looks like. And you know, fundamentally, you know that he's not spending his time at Tesla. That's for sure. Do you know what I mean? Okay, got it. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, man. You have a great one. A safe one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.